Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Bloodborne. Here we are back at the Shadows of Yarnum boss fight and I don't know, some people might dislike this but I looked up what to do with this boss and it turns out that you're supposed to kill them all almost at the same time. Uh, these bosses won't respawn so they won't resurrect each other however they will get stronger once uh, one of them dies and then once again after the second one dies. So even though you can take them out one by one, it's best to keep all of their HPs down and then go for it all at once. But I already have a feeling that this boss is gonna drive me fucking insane. Gotta use my speed to my advantage. I mean, we'll go whip mode for this. Oh fuck. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. Alright, let's back up. There's a blood echo already. Like two of them. Three of them. I came in here with full blood echoes too. Now, you really have to be careful of the one with the candle. Because if that one hits you, that's pretty much insta-kill. He's just so powerful. So we definitely want to stay away from him. Alright. I'm not using, I don't know if I mentioned this, because I'm concentrating, but I'm not using my fire paper because um, I don't want to, like, waste it. Because I'm going to keep dying to this boss anyways. So I might as well, like, not waste my fire paper, which is a pretty precious item. No. Oh, fuck. I'm going to try locating my souls. I have no idea where they went. I don't even know where I, like, what place I died at. Well, no, no, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Give me my, some of my HP back. He also has, like, a combustion spell, doesn't he? Come on, agility. By the way, people are saying that you can easily parry the katana one. But... When there's three of them, I don't know, I think it's a little risky. Actually doing, like, surprisingly well. Except that deals a lot of damage. I'm gonna use this big gravestone to my advantage here. Alright. Still haven't dealt much damage to that one. Oh, you tricky fuck. Okay, so he uses his, his katana sometimes. I don't like not being able to have a view on one of them. I keep my eye on one of them. You can like interrupt all of their moves though, so... That's nice, I guess. Come on, I'm so agile, gotta use that to my advantage. Oh, here they go. I don't know how this changes them. Besides them getting more powerful. But like the details of it, I don't know. Oh shit. Holy shit, that, that katana. Wanna kill the pyromancer first. Yes, one down. Gonna kill that one second. Uh oh, shit. This is their third phase when they get this new magic spell when they can summon. I'm so nervous. Alright. No, get away, get away, get away. Heal up. Oh, fuck. I'm 
No. Yes. Holy shit. I actually got them. That got my heart racing. <coughs> wow. That was actually pretty good. I thought, I honestly thought that would take a lot more attempts. Got a new rune. The only thing I don't know is, once again, where the fuck are my souls? I don't exactly remember where I died. Wow, a lot of people are dying here. <sighs> that was oddly satisfying, killing these three. Wow. I, d I don't even know what to say or how to react. This is... I'm so happy. Finally got more of that Dark Souls feeling of defeating a tough boss. We're definitely heading back to the Hunter's Dream. I have no idea where my souls are. I didn't even really care. Because that... That was an achievement in on itself. Wow. That, that was an exciting bl uh, boss fight. Even though they're pretty much look like... Uh, what are they called from, from Lord of the Rings? The Nair's Ghoul or something? They pretty much look like that. What is it? Very well. But yeah, this is basically... Um, I wonder what people think of this boss fight because... Like... So many people complain of the Gang Squad and Dark Souls 2. Wonder if people complain about this boss fight as well. I don't know. That was good though. Oh, this is not what I want. I will repair my weapons though. I mean, why not? And let's see what runes... Because I picked up a bunch of runes. So, take all of them out. We have... Nice. And let's get Visceral Attacks Restore HP. Yeah, we'll get that. You know, I see the thing is that one extra blood mile, blood, blood mile, did I just say that? Blood vial really doesn't make that much of a difference, I think. Um, especially since. Most of the enemies seem to be dropping blood vials. I'd rather take extra HP, stamina, and... This visceral attack restoring HP sounds good, because... I do sometimes get visceral attacks. Um, and, you know... This is gonna help, I think. So, let's move on. Brand new area. I am eventually gonna... Because I think now I'm strong enough to take on the... Unseen Village... The place I got kidnapped to. Holy shit, this is... They definitely know how to build atmosphere. Whoa. Hey there, whatever you are. You look friendly. Is that a human mos mosquito? What is that old movie called Fly? Looks like something out of Fly. These guys are gonna be popping up from everywhere. Hey, you look friendly. Madman's knowledge. I have so many of these. I could probably buy the rest of Gascoigne's set, but... No. Well, that's... There must be another way to get here, because... Why would they put two lambs so close to one another? But here we are. This is... Brighamworth. This is the infamous college um, that we are basically seeking in the game. So, like I said, um, the fact that there is a lamp here... I'm pretty sure that means that there is another way to get here to Brighamworth, another path. Probably through the Unseen Village, because that's like the one path I haven't explored. Why? Of course that would grab me. And they inflict Frenzy, which is... Don't exactly know how to get rid of Frenzy. Oh, I almost got frenzied. Don't want that to happen. No, there was another one of these. Oh, there he goes. Definitely don't want to be grabbed by... Frenzy is basically like... Um, curse. Or more like... I would say it's more like bleed. And that it doesn't... Doesn't insta-kill you, but... It does inflict a huge chunk of damage. Ah, oh, fuck. These assholes are everywhere. No, there's not enough time to visceral attack them. 
That almost worked. Oh shit. Didn't recover my HP. Well, first of all, before we move on, let's check that gate. I'm 90% sure that this is gonna be locked. Because I feel like this is a shortcut back to the bonfire. Oops, didn't mean to jump. Yep, it's closed. Of course it is, so we're gonna have to go around. Yeah, I'm assuming that's gonna be like a return point. But this is such an atmospheric place. Like I said, I'm really liking the world building in this game. So awesome. Once again, proving that mood is an extremely effective thing in a video game. Oh, hey there. We met these things before. There was one down in the... There was one down in that area I got the Fireblood gemstone from. Oh, that's another thing I have. I have a bunch of gemstones for my weapons. How did it deal so much damage? Holy shit, that was... I got fucking annihilated. I didn't expect him to deal that much damage. So yeah, I should have checked my weapon blood gems. Oh well. I'll return to the hunter's dream. Once again. Not now, but you know, later on. Gonna be going back there. I already have a pretty good uh, selection of blood gems on my weapons. Mostly increasing attack power, which... That's what I'm pretty much going for. Raw attack. Believe me, that beats a lot of things. I wonder if you can... No, you can't. That would be kind of convenient, wouldn't it? But no, he's just positioned in a way... So, are these the students? Because then, not exactly in a good place, are they? I don't know if I don't even know if you can um, repulse these guys. I'd assume you'd be able to. Oh, that's a dangerous combo where it does the attack and then the grab. All right, we're good. These ones are not too difficult, but that Cthulhu monster up there. A little bit more challenging, which is why I'm hoping there's not going to be too many of them. Oops, that was so bad. I'm also eventually going to... Um, we'll see what this place is like, but I'm eventually going to go to the Unseen Village, like I said. And the other thing I'm planning to do is go back to Old Yarnum, because... I have a feeling I'm now strong enough to take out that hunter on the roof. And apparently people have said in the comments that... Oh, you know what? Oh, seriously? How did that not work? Well, I'm dead. Mash that shit. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Well, that's only like... 2,000 souls, which I already have. Shit. I honestly thought that would be a visceral attack. God damn. I'm like dying more than to the shadows of Yarnum, to this guy. So yeah, people are saying that if you kill that hunter up on the roof, he drops an item that unlocks some new weapons. And I want to check that out. Always keeping an eye on new weapons. But I think by now, with the way I've leveled up my character, I've pretty much locked myself into the uh, dex category of weapons. Which, I don't know if that guy, that hunter drops dex weapons or more strength based ones. Oh. That was like the lamest shit ever. I thought I could like get a drop on him, but no, there is not enough space to do that. So we'll go after this one. Nice. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Wonder if I can approach. Oh, he already saw me. It's because I made too much noise, isn't it? 
Ah, fuck. Oh, please tell me. Yes, he fucking missed. You fucking idiot. I'm doing so little damage to it. One, again, I got... Is this the only thing that this guy can do? Grab attacks? Oh, I think I made it. I think I survived. No, you tricky fuck. You're not gonna firestorm me. Or whatever that is. That looked like a firestorm. Oh, this enemy is gonna be problematic. Take a visceral. So whatever he does, get the fuck away from it. That's... That's gonna be our lesson learned for today. Let's get up here and pick up this treasure, because even if I die to him... Arcane Lake. I think the lake runes all increase defense. So this is probably gonna do the same. Oh, can I... Can I cheese him from here? I think he's dead. No, you can't grab me. You can attack me, but no grabs. Thank you. Holy shit, that guy was tough. By now, I just wanted my revenge, honestly. Don't even care about the blood vials I wasted, because I wasted quite a bit, of course. They really like keeping this thing secure, don't they? Nice view of the lake, though. And the moon. Nice bit of scenery. It looks like all overgrown. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh. Hey there, guys. Did they take fall damage? That's weird. These guys have, like, wings. I guess they're not usable wings. Stun locks are not good. I'm getting shot at. Okay, probably getting noticed by that thing is not helping my cause here. Oh fuck, I'm... I'm dead. Oh no, because these guys don't... Th that attack doesn't actually deal damage. Come on. Oh, I really need to get a visceral attack. Because I just wasted like most of my blood vials here. That thing seems to be going away. No, it's not. It's gonna stick around and try and kill me. Holy sh... What is this thing? Oh, that that's a weird lock-on spot. Because it locks onto its head instead of the body. Wow, it has a lot of HP. And it just... Got me stuck in a corner. Doesn't seem too smart though, so... Can't stun it from what I've seen. I'm dealing like no damage. Okay, this guy isn't too dangerous because he's stupid as hell. Doesn't even like know how to react to me. But that is definitely an alien. And it just got like absorbed. So yeah, once again, Great One's Wisdom. Or oh, is that like um improved version of the... Yeah, Fragment of Lost Wisdom, used to gain much insight. Fragments of the Lost Wisdom of the Great Ones, beings that might be described as gods, used to gain insight. At Brighamworth, Master Willem had an epiphany. We are thinking on the basis of planes. What we need are more eyes. Again, like gods, planes. Once again, hint hinting at the fact that... All of these monsters are probably, like, not from our dimension. Because that's kind of the theme in H.P. Lovecraft is, like, all these uh, creatures are not necessarily aliens, but come from different dimensions. So that means it is very possible that the whole, like, blood curse and everything comes from these aliens. Oh, fuck. Please drop blood vials. Sedative. Let's see, sedative, sedative, sedative. Can't find it. Huh. Is it? Oh, there it is. It just calms the nerves. Oh, this is for um, frenzy, isn't it? At least I think it is. And is this the gate? Yeah, this is the gate. Well, thank you. This is nice of them to provide 
a shortcut. Well, let's enter. I have a few more minutes. Here we are, inside the college. This is gonna be, hopefully something good. Pearl slug. Let's see, this might be a key item or something. Yeah, it's not here. So, pearl slug. These things are not in order though. It's not an I hmm, weird. The hell is that? Did I just pass it again? Am I just an idiot? Nocular thick, great beast roar. I have no idea where that thing is. Oh, it's a holy chalice ritual material. Alright then. So far everything looks like pretty much college stuff. Books, vials. Reminds me of the Duke's archives. Nice seats. They look comfy. And are we... Oh, and this is the... Oh, I get it how it all works together. Let's go up the steps. Yeah, this is like Duke's archive-ish. Oh, fuck. That's a hunter, isn't it? And he has a threaded cane. Awesome. Screw you, I'm the Threaded Cane Master. At least I know the moveset of this weapon. Hopefully enough to... Whoa, what the hell? Uh-oh. That is fucking insane. What did you do? Is it like spraying me with mist? This guy has a lot of HP. Oh, it's a she, not a he. Don't spray me with that shit. Whatever that is. That looks like the faux shit. I'm backed up. Oh, I thought that was a... Oh, I'm so dead. That is the flame sprayer, except... Fuck. I thought there was a way to escape here. Alright, she's not too bad. I'll be able to take her on. It's just... I know the moveset of this weapon. It just... I honestly thought that there was a way to go sidewards, sideways from there. I didn't know that was the corner. Alright, well, we have our new enemy. At least the way to get to her is easy. I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Bloodborne. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.